Today, most firms view regulatory compliance as part of the DNA of their business. The broker-dealer world has really have been consolidating in the last five years. That's partly because of the regulatory scrutiny and the amount of resources that has to be allocated to compliance. The SEC has noted that the investment advisors are, were on average examined once every 11 years. Now they are allocating resources to ensure that they are examining uh, those investment advisors more frequent. Some of the consequences uh, that firms may face by not having an adequate regulatory uh, infrastructure in place is one of reputation, the ability to recruit and retain advisors and also attract investors, financial hardship uh, with respect to disciplinary fines uh, by the regulators, and also counterparty and clearing relationships. Copper Rossin helps our clients in that we have what I believe is the most diverse group in our risk advisory services department. Uh, people with uh, regulatory background, also uh, uh, people with private practice experience, and the ability to look at both, uh, from both angles, really add values to our client because we're not making recommendations that is not practical given their resources and given their size. We're making recommendations and advising our clients of risk uh, because we have the regulatory background and also the private side.